Hey guys, welcome to Avicsha. In this video, we're going to share some current affairs of September. Recently, Amani Lekra becomes first Indian woman to win two Paralympic medals. Yeah, it's a great news. IIST and ISRO develop a device for bio-experiments in space. Yes, and this research study has been published in Acta Astronautica. Toha Siyati Raj became the first IAS officer to win a medal at the Tokyo Paralympics. Yes, he is a district magistrate in Noida. Varansi Chunar cruise service begins to boost tourism. Wow, a cruise service started on Ganga River. We should visit there. Indian Railways launched new AC3 tire economy coach. Yes, Indian Railway services are improving these days. Sri Bhupendar Yadav dedicates the first functional smoke tower of India, situated at Anand Bihar in New Delhi. Yes, he launched Pran Portal for tracking of physical as well as financial status of City Air Action Plan. International Literacy Day is observed on 8th September annually. It was declared by UNESCO on 26th October. 1966. India's first emergency landing strip on highway inaugurated in Barma on 9 September. And Barma is in Rajasthan. Himalayan Day observed on September 9 in Uttarakhand. The theme for this year's Himalayan Day is contribution of Himalayas and our responsibilities. India Denmark jointly launched Center of Excellence in Offshore Wind as part of Green Strategic Partnership. International Day to Protect Education from Attack is observed annually on 9th of September. It was established by a decision of the United Nations General Assembly in 2020. The world's largest carbon capture plant is up and running in Iceland. It is called the Orca plant. It can suck up to 4,000 tons of carbon dioxide per year. Indian military content gen participates in the sixth edition of exercise SCO Peaceful Mission 2021 at Orenburg, Russia. It was hosted from 13 to 25 September 2021. International Day of Democracy is observed on 15 September annually. Lunar crater named after Arctic explorer Matthew Henson by International Astronomical Union accepting NASA LPI proposal. Matthew Henson in 1909 was one of the first people to stand at the very top of the world. India and Singapore announced linking of UPI and pay now fast payment systems. It is expected to be operationalized by July 2022. On the occasion of Hindi Divas, IIT Bombay launched Project Uran on 14 September 2021. Project Uran is a language translator. According to Britain's Trade Minister, UK and India are in a sweet spot of global trade dynamics as negotiations for an FTA agreement begin in the coming weeks. Engineers Day is observed on 15th of September annually. It is to mark the birthday of Sir Moksha Gundam Visvesh Baraya.
government approved PLI scheme for auto and drone sector offers incentive worth rupees 26058 crore it is to promote manufacture of electric vehicles and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles international day for the preservation of the ozone layer is observed annually on 16th of september it was designated by the united nations general assembly in commemoration of the day in which nations signed the montreal protocol on substances that deplete the ozone layer world patient safety day is observed on 17 september annually almost 90% of people in mumbai have covid-19 antibodies finds new sero survey by brihan mumbai municipal corporation wow that's great news india and el salvador hold third foreign office consultations yes it was held on september 17th two more beaches in india have been awarded blue flag certification an international eco level tag taking the total number of such beaches in the country to 10 The Environment Ministry said on Tuesday, 24 September, two beaches to receive the certification this year are Kovalam in Tamil Nadu and Eden in Puducherry. International Day of Peace is observed on 21st September annually. The Supreme Court on Wednesday rejected the center's plea to defer the first National Defence Academy exam for women candidates. Leh hosted the first edition of Himalayan Film Festival. The festival was held from September 24 to September 28. First India Australia joint working group on coal and mines were held virtually on 23 September. This was co-chaired by Shri Vinod Kumar Tiwari from the Indian side and by Mr Paul Trotman from the australian side delhi mumbai and bangalore have featured among the world's top startup hubs according to a comprehensive ranking of international startup hubs compiled by startup genome for its annual global startup ecosystem report 2021 International Day of Sign Languages is celebrated annually across the world on 23rd September every year along with International Week of the Deaf. World's highest EV charging station inaugurated in Himachal Pradesh. DFC and SA launched 55 million US dollar loan financing program as a part of COVID-19 relief for sustainable agriculture development in India. The global impact of the coronavirus pandemic, security and climate change were at the forefront of discussion during the first in-person Quad Leaders Summit on Friday 24 September. India emerges as Dubai's second biggest trade partner after China for H1 2021. World Tourism Day is observed on September 27th annually. National Commission for Women launches training capacity building program for women in dairy farming. Lewis Hamilton became the first Formula 1 driver to reach 100 career victories after winning the Russian Grand Prix on 26 September. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has congratulated the DRDO 
Indian Army, Indian Air Force, and other stakeholders on the successful trial of the Akash Prime missile. Dr. Falguni Pati and his research team from IIT Hyderabad have developed an alternative to corneal transplantation. An Indian organization and three others from the world have received the Right Livelihood Award 2021. Amazon, Amazon's Future Engineering Program aims to enable and deliver computer science education to more than 1 lakh from 900 government and aided schools in rural India. India and USA signs MOU for cooperation in health and biomedical sciences. Home Minister Shri Amit Shah attended the 17th Foundation Day celebrations of NDMA as the chief guest in New Delhi and released the training manual of Abda Mitra scheme and documents of Abda Mitra and Common Alerting Protocol scheme. Yes, and NDMA is National Disaster Management Authority. International Day for Universal Access to Information is observed on 28th September annually. Thank you for watching our video. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends.